Right, in this video, I'll be mostly fixing oil leaks, and then hopefully, I'll be able to take it for a ride again afterwards. Right, so what's happened is, why it's leaking oil is because I stuck that dowel through the wrong hole. Well, the dowel's in the right hole. The gasket's not in the right hole. It needs to go like that. Oh, well, the dowel goes in the engine. And then that was like that. So all these holes, I thought the screws were a little bit tight going through the gasket, but I just thought it was cut a little bit tight. So that's why that was leaking oil. And also that pesky union there keeps leaking. I kept tightening up, but I didn't want to go too far and strip the threads. So I'm going to have that washer off and just make sure that this surface is totally flat and I might actually polish it up and flatten it as well. <laughs> so that's the gasket. As you can see, it's got a few more extra holes in it now, but I can't get hold of one for a few days. So this one is going to go back on with sealer. And I took the back of the oil tank off because there was drips of blue fluid down here, but it all seemed okay. It wasn't leaking from this seal. I am going to put a little bit of seal around it just to make sure now though. But the main culprit was this banjo connection on here. I can't really see much wrong with it, so I've polished this up. And I'm just going to have to do it up a bit tighter, I think. But I was tightening that when it was on the bike, so I'm going to put this pipe on while it's off the bike. And I can get that a lot better, I reckon. I might polish these washers up as well. So you've probably already seen all this, me putting all this together. But I'm going to film it anyway. Whether or not you see it, I don't know. So that's totally my fault. I had that gasket on in the wrong place, which is why we had the oil leak. I do actually have videos about this as to why the oil leaks out of the rectifier at the bottom of the engine because the oil actually forces its way through the wires and it leaks through the plug. I don't think it's got anything to do with this rubber grommet here because it actually goes up inside the copper of the wiring. I've got videos about that, go and check them out if you want to know about that. And I left that spigot on there and the pulley on because I put some sealer on it and I couldn't get it apart from the sealer. So I didn't want to damage the actual oil seal, so I've left it in there. I thought that was probably the best way. Yeah, that's better. What I've done is I hadn't, I hadn't got that. Oh no, where was it? I had it. Yeah, I had it like that. So of course all these holes are in the wrong place. So that's where it should go. I was really reluctant to put sealer on it because it'd be a pain in the ass to get off again. So I might have to now, or I might just put it in the little bits. I will, I'll just put it in the bits which are damaged. I won't do all the way around because that'll be a real git to get off again. Right, it's got to go over that shaft. There's a shaft just here with two rubber seals on it. So that's the tight bit. But that went on nice. It's okay, where's the pipes pointing? That's coming out there, that's okay. Where does this one in here go? That one goes up there. 
I certainly prefer putting things back together again rather than actually taking them apart because you can sort of, everything's a lot cleaner and you can spend time sort of doing it nicely. Whereas when you're taking stuff apart, you've got fluid dripping out, oil dripping out, dirt on it and yeah, it's a, it's a pain in the bum. But putting stuff together, I like to take my time and do it methodically. <laughs> but now I'm paranoid that I've actually put that, the gasket moved when I put all this on and <laughs> I'm gonna have to go through the same thing all again. It's like, did I leave the iron on? Right, that's a good spot to have a break. I got all that bolted back together and all the oil lines and everything on and then went for a ride. Right, let's try again. Hopefully that oil leak is sorted out. I'm pretty sure that the the crankcase leak sorted out but I'm still having a bit of trouble with the banjo connections on the back of the supercharged oil tank. It's got a flat spot right down low, I've got to get rid of that. And everywhere else it's way too lean. So we'll go and sort that out right away. It's way too rich right down low. At the moment I'm just chasing oil leaks. Oh, there's blue fluid there. Not much though. This is what I'm up against. That that banjo connection in there, I just can't seem to stop that leak and I don't want to go any tighter because I really don't want to <laughs> strip the threads out of that case. That's pretty damn tight, but it's still leaking. And it's not really any under pressure because that's a return line to the tank. I think I might have fixed it. I went to Super Cheap and paid $8 for three Cobble washers, they're a lot wider and it looks like it's done a job. Right, let's hope that oil leak's sorted out. I think it is. And I've just leaned it down, lower down, by another 20%. And I think that flat spot's gone now. And I've reached it up higher up so, so it's not so lean. That flat spot's gone, that's great. AFR is much better. That's much smoother now. I've still got the oxygen sensors disconnected. I'm gonna ride a little way and then see if it's still leaking oil. If not, I'll go for a little bit of a further run. actually got any lag like with turbo vehicles or anything like it's pretty responsive still not quite as snappy as it was I don't think but <laughs> I don't think that's gonna matter when I actually start giving it more all right let's pull over make sure we haven't got any oil leaks pull over in the Sun really so I can see didn't I it's a goat track along here. Get it neutral, you dickhead. I turn the engine off because otherwise it really pisses people off who live around these parts. <laughs> oh, it's looking good. It's looking good. 
go a bit further. I should have put my gloves on, I don't know where they are. The rev counter I had on here broke by the way. I don't think I'm going to need it. I'm going to put my AFR gauge there where it was instead. Nice and smooth. There is something rattling on it when I'm moving, so I'm going to go back and check it out. That's what it is. It's the indicator. The weld's broken off, because I, I actually walked past it and walked into it earlier. So, I'm glad about that, I'm glad it's nothing on the drivetrain or anything. So, I'm going to have to fix that and then whew, go out again, so this won't be today. So now I've got to take my rear guard off and weld that lug back on for the indicator. I, it probably came off because it wasn't a very good weld before because it had already fallen off and I didn't want to weld it too much and damage the paint too much. So. I'm just going to have to damage the paint now and that'll get a repaint again at some point. And then I'll start refining this map a little bit and then after I've done the 100 k's or so I can actually start coming on to boost and winding it up a bit. And I've also figured out a way to get my phone onto my chest while I'm riding. So what I'm going to be doing, I've been messing about with lives, so what I'm going to be doing is I can ride it and go live at the same time. So that'd be really cool. And especially when I get to the drag strip, you can come and do a quarter mile with me. I've also released a video nearly every day for the last three weeks now as well. I'm not sure if that's gonna carry on like that at the moment because I am busy doing other stuff. So the videos might slow down a little bit now, but now I've got this main load of work out of the way. It's just a case of actually refining the map. Then I'll get it on a dyno and then test and tune at Willow Bank at the end of the month. I actually managed to sort out base map by copying the settings what people have been using for power commanders. Why don't you guys help me out with the power commander map? Thanks John for that. And that was really, really helpful because I copied most of that and it's a lot better now. So now I just need to refine that and make that work a little bit better. So drop a like and comment. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and have a great day. Oh, and let me know what you think about the lives and stuff like that.